Und die können wir nicht einfach so nehmen. Wie können wir denn den jetzt ablenken? Dammit. Hm. Hm, hm, hm. I give up William, but defend David. Would Chloe hate me if she knew? The most expensive restaurant in town? David knows how to get on Joyce's good side. Six course couples diner, endless wine. Wie kriegen wir den jetzt aus der Garage raus? Das ist eine gute Frage. Yep, locked from the other side. Locked from the other side, das heißt aber wir können von der anderen Seite bestimmt die Tür aufmachen. Wir haben ja schon alles kontrolliert soweit. Fusebox. Ah, da können wir bestimmt was. Manipulieren. So, look. This fuse box looks like a perfect David distraction. Oh yeah. I can't let David see me while I snag his keys. Enter the ninja. Son of a bitch! I just fixed that fuse box. So, jetzt geht er nämlich dahin, der... It's amazing how much drama this living room has seen. Und jetzt können wir die Keys nehmen. Gotcha. So, hahaha. Ha, ha. Wir haben die Keys, wir haben die Keys. Jetzt geht er wieder zurück, seine Kamera da bearbeiten. Jetzt können wir hier das Ding aufmachen. Hey Max. I do appreciate David will not leave if I ask him nicely, so I need to create a major distraction. I am the key master. So, schauen wir mal, was da drin ist. Oh, maps, notes, coordinates, photos of Kate, Nathan. Oh, yes. 3.17 p.m. Blockwell Academy Parking. Okay. Wow. Latitude, Longitude. Was ist das denn? Turn Picks. Okay, das sind alles Koordinaten von was auch immer. Ah, da hat äh, Nathan den guten... Wie ist er? William. Ja, nicht William. Warren. Warren. Leicht zu verwechseln. Wollte der ihm eine reinzwirbeln oder hat ihm sogar eine reingezwirbelt? Twitch Zinsen. Wilson. Ja klar, von Max ein Foto. Okay, immerhin. Beweise, Beweise. Zu was die Koordinaten führen, werden wir sicherlich nicht Score. Raus. Back to Chloe now. Oh ja, das ist wirklich ein Score. Ähm, ich denke mal, die Koordinaten führen irgendwie zu Sicherheitskameras oder sowas. Könnte ich mir gut vorstellen. Wieso kann ich jetzt nicht da hoch? Yo, jetzt. Chloe! Are you ready yet? I have to get back to my dorm. Are we happy? Very happy. I hit the secret file jackpot. It's Kate, Nathan and Rachel. Plus there's some location coordinates. David is like a one-man surveillance army. Now let's get the hell out of here before we get busted. Now let's go find out what Nathan is hiding in his room. We have to be extra careful. Max, now it's time for Nathan Prescott to be afraid of us. Oh yeah, mach dich gefasst, Nathan. Wieder zurück bei den Dorms, wo uns natürlich noch immer auch die Erinnerungen an Kate hinterher jagen. Hey Max, how you doing? Oh, hi Mr. Jefferson. I'm okay. Um, and this is my friend Chloe. Yeah. Chloe, why isn't somebody as cool as you going to Blackwell? I was way too cool for this school. It's a long story. In actual files here. I can imagine. Max, are you sure that you're all right? It's weird just 
being on campus like everything's normal. I know, lame as it sounds, life has to go on. I think there's too much going on in my life. On that note, Blackwell duty calls. Remember, I'm going to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes contest tonight at the party, so I hope you'll be there to celebrate, even though I'm sorry you didn't enter a photo. I understand your reasons. You can't force an artist to work. I feel like a total loser, but it's been a hard week to focus. No pun intended. I'm proud of you for caring so much about a troubled friend. And I take hope in the fact that you have plenty of time to find your way. Just get in the habit of putting your work out there. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. I'll definitely be there tonight. Me too. I'll be Max's date. You better dance with us at least once. And nobody should have to see me dance. Plus, you don't want to watch the old hipster trying to keep up with the kids. I have some pride. Be seeing you. Yes, you will. Hot for teacher. Gross! You are out of control. Not yet. Just wait until the rager tonight. <sighs> Shut up. Don't be jealous because Mark Jefferson thinks I'm cool. I am so ignoring you. Fine. Since I'm here, I'll see if I can get some dirt from Justin. I haven't talked to him in a while. Now that is a great plan. So, let the Let's see if I can find out where Nathan is. Where Nathan is, müssen wir rausfinden. Mal gucken, ob wir mit denen hier quatschen können. Nee, mit dem nicht. Mit dem das sicherlich auch nicht. Zachary. Enjoy the big game, Zachary. I hope it's not the last. That's oh, so ironic that Rook. Warren asked Max to the drive-in. Brooke doesn't look happy that I'm going ape with Warren. Ah, oh, die mag mit Tisch Warren auch. Hey Brooke, auch. how are you? Considering what happened to Kate, I could be better. Are you okay? Hmm. Drone, whales. I, I can't get my limited brain around that eclipse and the beached whales. I was hoping the science department had some ideas. Warren and I are supposed to compare notes and theories this weekend. That makes sense. Two big brains are better than one. Or mine. We'd get the Nobel Prize if we could explain this phenomenon, but even Miss Grant has no clue. I need to find Nathan. Have you seen him around? Ask Warren. I mean, you're going to the movies with him and everything. Okay, Brooke, um, but right now I'm trying to find Nathan. Warren's not good enough for you? Okay. I saw Nathan pissed and walking off campus earlier. Good luck getting that date, Max. Wer hat gesagt, dass Warren nicht gut genug ist? Quatsch doch keine Scheiße. Kann ich hier nicht rückgängig machen? Wieso das denn nicht? I might feel better taking your drone for a quick flight. Miss Grant finally gave up and let me fly her again. But you're going to the drive-in with Warren, so you don't have time to fly my drone. Really? I can't fly your drone because I'm going to see ape movies with Warren? You are perceptive, Max. Now, excuse me. My drone needs me. Good. Nathan is not around. I should go back to Chloe. Jetzt können wir hier zurückspulen. Können wir vielleicht noch was anderes sagen? Vielleicht so, dass wir die Drohne fliegen können sogar. Hey, Brooke. Consider. Wales, erstmal wieder. Warren. That makes sense. We get the Nobel. I need to find me. Ask Warren. Okay, Brooke. Um, but right now I'm trying. Warren. Maybe I should have asked Warren to go. Nah. I might. Miss Grant. You. That's so ironic that. Was können wir denn noch anders machen? Frage ich mich. Sollen wir erst später nach Nathan fragen? Hey, Brooke. Kannst. Fragen wir erstmal nach den Wales. Warren. He asks you? No, that makes that sense, sagen wir lieber mal. We'd get drone. I might feel better taking your drone for a quick flight. 
Miss Grant finally gave up and let me fly her again. Really? Oh, yeah, yeah. You are perceptive, Mac. Talk to you later, Max. That's so ironic that Warren asked Max. Ach, komisch, dass sie mit der nicht. Äh, dass die sie. Äh, ach, das ist doch komisch. Sie uns die Drohne nicht fliegen lässt. Samuel. Makes me mad. Oh, How are you doing, verrückt. Max? Been a tough week. I know. Ja. Yes, it has, Samuel. How are you? Sad and confused, like everybody else in Arcadia Bay. You look like you have a lot of questions, too. I definitely have questions about what's happening to the animals in Arcadia Bay. Oh, many do. These poor creatures have no choice in what happens to them. Well, I'm glad to see your squirrels are still healthy and happy on the campus. Me too. If something happened to them... Oh... Not as long as you're here to take care of them, Samuel. The only thing that calms them is food. <laughs> Lots of food. Which reminds me th that I have to feed them now. Hm, da kommen sie. Der Kaprezen hingeschmissen. Climate change isn't real my ass. I think Sorry to bother you again, Samuel. There's no bother here, Max. Fragen wir was anderes. I still have a million questions about what's happening to Arcadia Bay. That must be why Miss Gant says you're one of her favorite students at Blackwell. I'd rather be in her class than the Vortex Club. Yes, you would. Rachel saw right through them. She's not the only one. Nobody should be trapped in the Vortex Club. Get out now, Max. While time is on your side. Hmm. Time is on your side. Das sagt er richtig. I keep thinking that Rachel Amber has a few answers. If we can find her. If Rachel wants to be found. You think she's alive? Do you think she's alive? She'll always be alive in our hearts. Sometimes that's all we have left. But... Max... All I can tell you is to stay on your path and you'll find what you're looking for. Rachel Amber is waiting too. Okay. Even though Miss Grant likes me, I have zero science skills to explain that eclipse. As I was just saying to her, that's because science has no explanation. Well, no offense to Miss Grant here, but this is just the beginning. How do you know that? I'm genuinely curious. You just have to open your eyes. Then you can see what's coming. That's why I can sense something bigger is coming to Arcadia Bay. And Max, I don't like it at all. No, ja, das was kommt mag ich auch nicht. More questions than answers. Samuel is always here to talk. Do you ever talk with David Madsen? Not since he was suspended, but then I, I wouldn't talk to him. Only listen. That's how David operates. He sees things, not people. But I, I think he sees you, Max. David? What? Why do you say that? Because you both see with cameras. I think you have better vision than both of us. No, Max. I, I just look at everything from a different angle. Have you seen Nathan Prescott around? I try not to. So, what do you know about Nathan? I know enough to not want to know anymore. Well, okay. Enough said. You know a lot of Blackwell secrets, so I, I thought you could help me. Max, I I'm a custodian, not a psychic. I can only help by warning you to be careful. Mm -hmm. Blackwell is so sad and quiet since Kate isn't here anymore. Yes. You can tell that the campus is different now. 
and you reached out to her when everybody turned away. Samuel, you were the eyes of Blackwell. Did you know Kate was being bullied? Most everyone makes fun of me. But Samuel warned them about Kate. I hate bullies, Max. I believe you. Kate just needed some more helpful spirits like her friend Max. I hope she finds them now. Hmm. I definitely have questions about what's happening to the animals in Arcadia Bay. Oh, many do. So, fragen wir noch mal über das andere, die dead birds und die Wale. What do you think about all those dying birds? Samuel had to bury dozens near the Tabanga. Is that cool with the Tabanga? We'll find out if the souls of the bird move on. Not that we can prove it. It's so ominous. Unless it's fate, then it doesn't matter. How can anybody explain all those poor beached whales? My dad was a fisherman, and he'd take me out to hear the whales sing. Now they... they just cry. They're not alone these days. I feel so powerless. Oh no. You're the opposite of powerless, Max. You think so, Samuel? You and Arcadia Bay are connected by time and tide. So, next time I have a question, I'm coming to you. I'm sorry. I better get going now. Everything is changing here. As a scientist, okay, I'm fascinated. As Michelle Brand, I'm very worried. Arcadia Bay is yeah, good. It's good that food in your belly. And the animals. <laughs> Not to mention Kate Marsh. We all need to these days. Nee, ne? Ach, aber dem haben wir auch ein Foto gegeben. Ah. Oh. Foto, das sind zwei. Ja. Hübsch. Nice. Irgendwas muss man ja fotografieren. <lacht> so, können wir nochmal zu Miss Grant sprechen? Hi, Miss Grant. Max, you always show up when I'm talking about you. I'm still bragging about you and the other students making Blackwell surveillance free. I was hoping you could explain some of these crazy things happening in Arcadia Bay. If I could, I'd be collecting my Nobel Prize in Science today. I haven't been able to wrap my mind around that eclipse, much less the snow in Wales. I think this is beyond science. Nothing is beyond science except for our lack of knowledge. We may never know why, but that doesn't change reality. I am worried about reality. I feel like it's changing right in front of us. You and Samuel both. We were talking about that before you came over. Our planet is changing, but it's not mystic. It's erosion. You think that's why all these animals are dying here? Well, our shoreline has been receding. Not to mention the daily contamination of the ocean. That's all you need to kill off sea and wildlife here. Unless you know something I don't. I wonder if the Tabanga knows more than anybody here. Oh, Max, nobody even knows who brought the Tabanga here. It was likely stolen from the South Pacific by local fishermen. But I know what you're saying. There's a lot of energy here. 